Thank you for joining us. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to add a completed library to our design. Right-click on Library. Select the Capture Tutorial 2.olb from the downloaded files. Right-click on the original library and select Cut. All of the custom parts are now visible in the part library. Go to page 1 of your schematic. Select the Place Part button from the toolbar or go to Place and Part. You can also use key P on your keyboard. The only library I have added to my design is the Capture Tutorial 2 library I created. I'm going to place the parts from this library. You can either click the Part Place icon or double click on the part. To place your part, click on the schematic page. When finished, right click and choose End Mode or Escape on the keyboard. To rotate a part during placement, use R on the keyboard or right click and rotate. You can do the same once the part is placed. All the parts I created have been placed. Next I'm going to search for a part. Click on the plus sign to expand search for part. I'm going to search for cap. Set the path to the default capture libraries. Click search part. A capacitor was found in the discrete library. Click add. This has added the library and the library can now be searched in the parts window. Placing the capacitors in my design, the reference designators are automatically annotated. Right click and select end mode. If you do not want the parts automatically annotated, go to Options, Preferences, and the Miscellaneous tab. Click off of Auto Reference. Any parts with question marks in the part reference can be annotated at the end of the design. Next, we will search for a resistor. Find the part you want and place it in the schematic. Use R to rotate. Next, I'm going to search for an LED. Place the part in your schematic. I'm going to place my ground symbols next. Go to Place and Ground. Add the Capture Tutorial to Library by selecting Add Library. Select the ground symbol you want and place on the schematic. Escape or End Mode when finished. I'm going to do the same with VCC. Go to Place and Power. Select the power symbol you want and place on the schematic. Escape or end mode when finished. To add multiple libraries, click the Add Library button. Select all of the default libraries. This will allow you to search all of the libraries in the Place Part window. If you decide you don't want these libraries, just highlight and delete. All the parts have been placed in the schematic. Join us in the next video where we will discuss wiring, buses, and no connects.